Hi, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the sexiest franchise business opportunities available to mankind. You ready? It's a residential cleaning franchise. Ugh, ugh. Joel, why would you even talk about that? Wait, be patient. But I have to tell you, if, if in your mind, you need something snazzy in a business, something really sharp, uh, trend-setting, modern, etc. Something that um, uh, you know matches your image of yourself, and uh, you can't see yourself owning a franchise uh, where your employees go and clean houses. Then just click on to another video. But if you have an open mind and you don't necessarily need something sexy. As long as it'll get you where you want to go, check this out. Residential cleaning franchises are big business. Uh, there are many, many franchisees who do well over a million dollars in sales. I'm not saying they're making a million dollars. So be careful when you're looking at franchises. Ah, oh, that franchisee, you know, he's making a million dollars. No, his revenue is a million dollars. What is he actually making? And, and, and it's easy to find out if, if you follow my videos and if you go to thefranchiseking.com and click on research, you'll see. It's really not hard to find out. Anyway, I digress. You know, when I first got into franchising and I was uh, presented with um, the idea of uh, showing my franchise candidates cleaning franchises, I was like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Then I learned about them. Here's some really cool things about residential cleaning franchises that you need to know. The first thing is they're on the low to medium investment side. So you're talking in the $200,000 uh, uh, total investment range or less. And the best way or the best thing about them is, is you can own a large territory. And the way that you grow the territory is actually one of the best things. Uh, for example, you know, you might have, you might have seen Molly Maid or the Maids International or Maid Brigade vehicles around your neighborhood. And the great thing is, is in a residential cleaning franchise, as a franchisee, the more vehicles you have out there, the better you're going to do. But you don't start with five or six vehicles and, and just kind of go after that neighborhood that you, you know, that territory that you're in, that you own. Uh, you start with one vehicle or maybe two, and a couple employees. And you only add extra vehicles and hire more employees as your business dictates it. It's part of your business plan. When you hit a certain revenue goal, you add another vehicle, and then you add a couple more employees. And in a couple of years' time, hopefully you have several vehicles with your logo cruising around, cleaning two to three homes a day, each vehicle. That's how you make money. You have to own an entire territory and have vehicles and employees doing the work. Speaking of doing the work, you're not the one doing the work. Well, Joel, what if my cleaners don't show up? I guess there has been occasions where the franchisee has actually had to pitch in. But in general, you should not expect to do that. This is an executive level business. Look at some residential cleaning franchise opportunities. Find out about the backgrounds. Of, of the franchisees. You're going to find that they've been vice presidents of marketing, um, um, ex-CEOs of companies, um, high-level people that buy these franchises because they see the numbers. Now, um, one thing you might ask yourself is, you know, are these franchises recession-proof? Well, they, they can be, but they can also be hurt by a recession, but not like some other businesses because you're targeting people of the upper middle class range and, and the upper income range. And once people generally, once people get, uh, uh, get used to having their homes cleaned once a week, um, they don't really want to give that up. It's like one of the last things they want to give up. If they have to, they will. So it's fairly recession proof. And the other thing that you're going to hear about residential cleaning franchises are the problems you have getting and keeping employees. Those problems are real. But I found that 
when you get that core group of employees and you take care of them, not always paying them more hourly, you know, dollars, but sometimes like taking care of them, sending them on, on a weekend, a romantic weekend with their honey, some kind of spiff like that. You can keep employees. You can. And they will tell other people, their friends, that you need to work at this at this person's franchise. Um, he or she really takes care of us. So you can do it, but it's going to be take a, it's going to take a while and you need to be patient. But are residential cleaning franchises the right ones for you? I don't know if you should look at them or not. If image is a big thing, if 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 your image is is really important and you don't want to be associated with cleaning franchises, then don't look at it. Don't pretend that you're going to be okay with it. But if image is not that important, check out residential cleaning franchises. A lot of people own them and there are a lot of successful franchisees. Thanks for watching this video. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. Subscribe below for more wonderful videos.